Hey folks, it's Greg. You're watching Greg Country Cabin Outdoors. So, <clears throat> I've been feeling pretty nostalgic lately. Um, I think it has something to do with the fact that my buddy Bart came down to spend a weekend with us at the cabin. And uh, the fact that um, my friend Jim is coming down from Michigan to... Uh, go fishing with me they'll be coming out tomorrow but I got to thinking about the good old days ah for the good old days <laughs> when I was a little kid I grew up in a little bitty town 150 160 people primarily German community and it was a pretty diverse group. In our little town we had two churches, a Catholic church and a Methodist church, and you belonged to one or the other. Nobody really cared what church you belonged to as long as you went to church. The church was full. I attended the Catholic church. It was full every Sunday and every holy day of obligation and it was packed with standing room only on Easter and Christmas Eve the uh, local farmers and business owners would get together once a month they called it the businessmen's supper and they would have that supper either at the Methodist church in the basement or they would have it at the Catholic church in the basement. <clears throat> they would discuss the uh, things that had to happen in, the, in their little community uh, around the surrounding area regarding the post office, the general store, the blacksmith shop, the tavern, all the legality they handled all that stuff they talked about it during that business meeting we had a gas station that opened up before prohibition they had a little tourist court behind them and they would rent out little cabins smaller than our, than this shed tow they were little 8 by 10 or 8 by 12 cabins some of them were 8 by 16 and they had a central shower house bathroom and folks that were traveling through the area could rent a room or the locals could come and spend the weekend with their friends <clears throat> that little gas station after prohibition got a liquor license and they could serve anything in the gas station. <laughs> they chose to serve beer. They had a cooler. And you could walk in off the street and you could walk back to that cooler and the first two sections were dedicated to soda pop and they had every kind of soda pop that was available in the area at the time. And then the, less, the back three sections were dedicated to beer bottles of beer not cans bottles and you could walk in off the street walk back to that cooler pop open a cold soda pop or a cold beer and walk around pay the cashier and stand there and visit with your friends ah for the good old days those days are gone you couldn't do that now if you wanted to somebody would call the police in our little community that gas station the lady that owned it lived into her 90s and she ran that gas station almost until she died she she just that's where she lived every day she'd go in there open it up and she would be there all day long 
she had a attendant that moved up here from Kentucky and took that job when he was 27 years old and that old man was well into his late 60s when he finally retired she was pushing 90 if not already 90 when she retired off oh, for the good old days call in there and she would answer service station it was a standard station it was the only standard station in Illinois at the time that was allowed to sell alcohol and standard got on her case about it said you can't sell alcohol in your store anymore and she said well I guess I'll just buy my gas somewhere else it wasn't too long after that other gas stations started selling alcohol in their stores ah for the good old days I grew up on a farm <laughs> and in the winter time if you got six inches of snow it could be a problem the local farmers would get out their tractors drag out their chains and if they had a blade for their tractor they'd put that blade on and they'd go around and start digging people out if they had a bucket they'd start digging people out with their bucket that was not uncommon I remember one year my dad put the blade on the tractor my uncle had a blade on his tractor and a bucket and all I had was a pickup truck and a shovel so I followed him into town and we spent the day digging people out and we went to the local gas station had a beer and went home ah for the good old days you know, I grew up in that little town riding my bicycle, and I lived outside of town. I had to ride a mile and seven-tenths into town on my bicycle to ride around with my friends all day long in the summertime. We had a grocery store. We had a gas station. We had a blacksmith shop that also did engine repairs. We had a local tavern and when I was younger the local tavern was a two-story tavern and actually had rental rooms up above we had post office at one time there was a bank but because of the Great Depression the bank went under but the bank was still there it was transformed into an upholstery shop and uh, the lady that ran it was always busy reupholstering furniture real nice lady but you know what everybody in that town were real nice people everybody in that community outside around the surrounding area they were real nice people didn't matter who you were didn't matter what your background was everybody was good people I grew up, I knew a man that had a, a cleft palate, and he talked funny, and he was mocked when he was younger because he had a cleft palate, and he talked funny. I grew up with it. I never thought it was all that strange. In fact, I was pretty proud of the fact that I could understand everything he said didn't matter what he said I understood what he said my dad told me always always respect everyone doesn't matter who they are what their background is or what their handicap is never make fun of anybody and I live by that we all live by the golden rule do unto others as you would have them do unto you. 
And that's what we did. It didn't matter who we were. You know, I had a neighbor that I believed really didn't like me. It turns out, I found out, long after he passed away, and it wasn't me he didn't like. A relative, we'll just put it that way, a relative, <clears throat> that he did not get along with. And you know, I heard that he didn't particularly care for me. So I made it a point every time I saw him to wave at him. That one finger wave. Now where I grew up, when you drove past somebody, if they were hanging on the steering wheel, you'd get the one finger wave. That was the one finger wave. That's what they did. You waved at everybody. Didn't matter who it was, you waved at everybody. And I would wave at him every time I saw him. And you know what? He started waving back. And one day I was in that local gas station, standing there talking to a few other people in there, having a beer. And that man came in, reached in the cooler, opened up a beer, and struck up a conversation with me. Now that made me feel pretty good. To find out later that it wasn't me he didn't like was kind of upsetting because I wish I'd have gotten a chance to get to know the man a lot better. He was a good man. He really was. His family were good people, all of them. But, you know, you, can, but you can't pick your family. But yeah, the good old days the good old days going into the big town nearby and shopping at the Woolworth store or the Sears store or the Montgomery Wards or the SS Kresge or what you would call the five and dime Four inches of snow on the ground and everybody was gathering presents for Christmas. Those were the good old days. Well, <clears throat> I'm just about done rambling. But I have a request. Tell me about your good old days. And if you're a YouTube subscriber and you don't know me, then I challenge you not only to tell me about your good old days, but to put a video up talking about your good old days. Now, <clears throat> I can sit back and remember those good old days. I can smile, I can laugh, and I can say thank you Lord for those good old days. I want to thank you for watching. I want to thank all of our service, soldiers, I don't care if they're men, women, what branch of service they're in, for your dedication and allowing me the freedom to kick back and enjoy the good old days. Because folks, right now, I'm making them. Like the song said, these are the good old days. Thanks for watching.